This lesson, this is probably one of my favorite lessons because it really brings home the, the reality of living virtually or internationally, whatever your heart's desire. So I'm gonna share with you in this lesson of how you can get your mail digitally, okay? This means you do not have to have your letters come back to either like a local uh, post office or a PO box or a local uh, UPS box or anything like that, okay? So now you can do that if you wanna get, you know, when you're getting started, it kinda keep costs a little bit lower. However, I'm show, what I'm showing you is something, like I said, I'm gonna be real and open with you. I'm gonna show you exactly what I use and I'm gonna show you some alternative services, okay? So here is, the first one is called Anytime Mailbox. Now actually, this recently is kind of new, I think. I've never even seen this one before. I've actually been using virtual mail services probably for the past six to seven years now. And I'm also gonna show you um, my buddy who started one of these companies uh, and, and how I'm, uh, the service that I use. So this has become more and more popular now because there's more and more people who are living overseas, internationally, traveling more often, RVers and stuff like the tiny house people, you know, uh, tiny house people. <laughs> um, so those, uh, this, these kinds of services are becoming more and more popular. So here's a fairly new one that I've never seen before in the past maybe a year or so, I don't really know, but it's called Anytime Mailbox and it's basically rates starting as low as $5 a month month. So basically, let me just jump into how it works is basically you're going to set a location, you're going to pick your residential address, where do you want it to be? Mine personally is in North Carolina, because I do a lot of business in North and South Carolina, Florida and Georgia. So uh, I personally like the North Carolina market. Second, you're going to pick a service plan. Again, I'm going to go over those with you just in a second. And then you manage your mail and you can manage your mail on your laptop on your um, uh, tablet or on your phone. So either way. So here are the addresses that you can choose from. As you can see, it shows the different states. I'm gonna click Massachusetts. I used to live in Massachusetts. So basically here it's showing you um, the different pricing that you can choose for that location. So now why is this important? You might be thinking, well, why is there different prices for different <laughs> for different properties? That's because uh, depending on the location of that property, there may be something there at that location that has a specific address, okay? For example, sometimes Liberty Square might be easier uh, for them to get mail. So I'm gonna pick the most expensive one just for now, okay? Um, and basically it shows you what they offer. So let's kind of break this down. Basically this is what it would look like. You'd have your name here, your business name, have the address, the suite, and the mailbox, and the complete address right there. They What they do is they open and scan uh, your mail. They do forwarding. They do recycling, shredding, and local pickup from these providers. However, what they don't do is they don't do check depositing. That's kind of a bummer. All right, then it shows you the different pricing for uh, the service. So from silver, basic level to unlimited. It's open, It's showing you how many pieces, by the way. So incoming mail, this is 60 pieces of mail per month, okay? Uh, then you have how many pages to scan per month, okay? And forwarding. Now, personally, I think this service is a little bit more on the expensive side from what I'm seeing, um, but it all depends on what you're trying to do. I think, honestly, <laughs> For a cost perspective, this unlimited plan at $50 a month, uh, if you're doing a lot of direct mail, this is probably the cheapest um, from, from what I'm seeing for unlimited, unlimited incoming and unlimited opening and scanning. So that's kind of their angle to that. Uh, so that's, you know, anytime mailbox, check out the pricing. Let's jump to another one. And you'll see here, I'm gonna put it on a monthly. This is US Global Mail. By the way, all these services, they do the same thing, all right? Keep that in mind. They all do the same thing uh, for what they do. And then let me just jump into pricing, okay? And let me jump into monthly. Okay, so here you have individual, family, and business. I'm gonna just jump into Oh, well, that's unique. Okay, so we have one person name but no business name. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna do the business one for you right now just to show you. Uh, I'm gonna show you how that compares to the service that I use. Oh, they want us to sign up first. Okay, all right, thanks. That's interesting. Oh, here we go. I was like, where is the... <laughs> Oh, okay, very different here, right? Look at this. US Global Mail does all plans have permanent street address, 
um, unlimited incoming mail, unlimited forwarding addresses, free check deposit. That's that's nice. Free shredding of junk mail, which is normal. Uh, interior interior mail scans on request. Okay. Uh, notarization. Wow. Like ten dollars for notarization. That's I would look into that because that's interesting. I'm in, other, in one of the other videos. I show you how to get you know get your stuff notarized. Uh, scanning a letter. Um, it's a little all right. That's a little bit more expensive. Letter storage. That's a little bit cheaper. Uh, they do store packages. Open and inspects package. If they, you want them to open a package for you, it's, it's going to cost five dollars. Uh, free letter storage for 180 days. Free package storage for 30 days. Free insurance. Repackaging, pick up documents on request, automatic folding options, not too bad. Pricing here is actually better than the other one. What I really like so far is that no matter which plan you pick, it is including all the all the things that we just went over. So if you're running a business, you're probably gonna be under the business one at $25 a month because you are gonna to wanna to use business names. Unlimited personal names becomes really handy. Let me tell you why. I got a family, I got my myself, my wife, my kids, and sometimes mail comes in for my wife, mail comes in for my daughters. I really like that part of it so that I, and also businesses. So I am on a plan like this, I'll show you on the next screen, because it's unlimited family and unlimited um, business names because I have multiple businesses all going to one address okay it's not all you know different address it's actually all the mail from all my companies go to the same address so um, I really I really like that this is very unique they have all these uh, these extra things here um, okay so that is uh, US global mail and that's if you buy it for 20 that, excuse me that's 24 months this is 12 months and this is if you pay monthly so there's the difference in pricing by the way if you pay monthly it's 35 if you pay for 24 months it's 25 a month all right so now lastly I'm going to show you uh, traveling mailbox which my buddy uh, actually created this out of his dorm room uh, and and again it's the same same format everything's the same online postal mailbox mail forwarding postal mail scanning um, one of the things I do like also is that uh, integrations okay I actually don't know if those other guys integrate but they might uh, one of the things I like is that my mail actually integrates with the Google Drive. So actually every time a letter is opened and scanned, it automatically goes into my Google Drive. It's just an extra feature that I like to have um, if I want it in my Google Drive. It's like a backup. That's the way I see that. So um, I have those on backup. You, they also have an apps. They have for uh, Android and the Google, Apple App Store. Okay. Now let's go into pricing for this one here. All right. So... Here we have the basic, extended, and small business. And I want you to just kind of pay attention to the different like pricing uh, here. They all have free shredding, okay? But let's look at the uh, envelopes and scans. That's really where the that's really where the the money comes in. So if you look at this, this is forty incoming envelopes. Um, the envelopes meaning it's it's come in, but it came in, but they haven't uh, opened up the envelope or scanned the letter yet. So sometimes here's the thing: you're gonna have mail that comes in that you don't want them to scan. You actually kind of want to either make that decision if you want them to open or not. Otherwise, it's going to cost you money. Um, also, you can have a setting that every time mail comes in from this certain, um, uh, like certain uh, letterhead or something like that, if it has a certain name, uh, they will automatically sort that mail and shred it, or sort that mail and not open it. So that's one of the, another feature that I like. For example, all the mail that comes in from one of my companies, they automatically know that it goes and it's tagged and sorted in a certain way. So I really like that. So um, here their pricing is at 25 per month. I know they have an annual, they don't show it on their website, which is kind of, that's not that great. But it, um, they also have annual pricing as well. Um, probably after you become a member, then they offer the annual pricing. Uh, 100 envelopes, 80 scans, five uh, mailbox recipients. Again, the other one has unlimited. Um, the previous one we just looked at, this one has five. So there's a difference there. And then uh, junk mail filtering, which is really cool. Unlimited cloud storage, change your plan anytime and your scans roll over. So there is some good things here. I know they also have, here we go. 
uh, mail scanning, mail forwarding. They have uh, the, the virtual office side of things where you can scan and receive faxes. So you can actually do faxes through them and you can receive a fax. So if let's say you don't have a fax machine, someone's faxing you. I know that's not too common these days, but if someone was faxing you, it would they would fax it to this number and then um, you would get it as a, as a, as a letter. So uh, you could also mail a check. Uh, which is nice, and then mail a letter. So uh, that's actually a feature I didn't even know. Mail a letter. I didn't even know that because I just used another service the other day to mail a letter. Now I know. Uh, they also do deposit checks, uh, which is a really nice feature. I think they charge a $3 fee to deposit the checks. Um, the recipients and addresses, they have addresses all over the place but they do not uh, provide PO boxes. So um, yeah, and also some apps. So the um, here's the thing, uh, They this is my buddy is a uh, company and I actually uh, supported him for, like I said, seven years. He's been a good friend of mine for a number of years and I just love the hustle that he's put into his company. Um, but I'm also gonna show him some of the things that I just noticed uh, from that other company. Again, there's a lot of new companies actually that are coming up that are more uh, competitive because this market is actually growing. There's a lot more people using virtual mailboxes because there's a lot of people who are going remote or becoming expats and they are uh, traveling more. They're in RVs, that's really big, or tiny homes, the tiny house movement. That's huge, so people are not receiving mail as much as they used to, uh, but still need to get mail, right? For not only government reasons, but also for other things. Here's the best part, I think, about this. Uh, yes, you can get mail from anywhere, but my favorite part about you know virtual mail is you no longer get junk mail. <laughs> you know, no coupons, no no whatever. You will not get a piece of junk mail. They will not scan something that looks like any type of advertisement or promotional advertisement, anything like that. You will not get any junk mail, which is a really nice feature. So I know sometimes people wonder that, but the good thing is no junk mail scanning. They just shred it and throw it out, all right? So, all right, if you have any other questions about this, let me know, but this is the service that we use, uh, that my company personally uses, and check out other, you can, if you wanna look up other uh, companies and compare it, because they all pretty much do the same thing. If you wanna compare pricing, just go to Google search and type in virtual mailbox service. And there, you'll, you'll, you'll have a bunch. All right, see you in the next lesson.